Hey guys, this is Full Stuffing Incorporated, and I know I'm a little late on the channel anniversary, but it's just because I've been facing things in my personal life, and it's just because, you know, it's pretty hard to make make a channel special in general, but I got my idea around and I'm working on it. So with that being said, let's discuss pendulums, and whether if they are dead under the water when links come out. So... I'll explain the nerfs real quick. Pendulum zones are now on the spell and trap card zone, which hinders back row protection, mainly cards like Guiding Ariadne, which searches into counter traps and makes them cost free. Also, you can no longer Pendulum Summon Fire from the Estra deck, as there is only one Estra deck monster zone. So, yeah, these are pretty big nerfs to them. And I'm not going to lie, it hurts a lot when I try to play Pendulums while links are out there. So... I took some time to think, and I watched a video about Yugi No No discussing about pendulums, whether they're dead themselves, and he said that pendulums might come out on top. I thought about that, and I was like, you know, maybe he's right. So I was thinking about some pendulum decks. I used three examples being Performer Pals, Metalphos, and lastly, Zark Magicians, which will be out soon enough. So I'll explain myself on each part. Performer Pals, they've been hindered largely, I'm not gonna lie. They need Monkey Board, which is banned, Guitartle, and Lizard Draw are still a good combination, and they still have 3 Pendulum Sorcerer, but they can't summon from the Astro deck anymore, so it's gonna be hard to play them, if at all, so that's kind of a dead under the water deck, in my opinion. So now it's a Metal Foes. It's gonna be a lot more of an engine, rather than the speedy deck it is now. Cosmo could be the biggest example of a deck that can abuse it, along with True Kings, which is going to be a pretty interesting concept. And also, Metal Foes, playing them by themselves is a lot harder. Links will have to be played, and Metal Foes counter will have to be a lot more important than it is now, because they can send them from the extra deck to your hand, so you can potentially summon them and swarm your field in any way you see fit. So, the main focus today, because I kind of felt like I needed to, is Zark Magicians. And I feel like that with Zark Magicians, I feel like this is going to be the top Pendulum deck, and it also could be a top deck in the future. Why do I think this? Well, I'll explain myself. The monsters themselves float. There's no doubt about it. Not just by being Pendulum Summon back. I mean, they have their own effects when they're destroyed. Heck, they destroy themselves off of their own effects. So, yeah, I'll explain myself on this part. Like, Cards like Iris Magician, it can destroy itself while giving your opponent's monster, ugh, giving one of your monsters, I'm sorry, one of your monsters the ability to do double the damage on the turn you use it, but it destroys itself. But then when it's destroyed, it can search one Pendulum Grass Spell or Trap from your deck to the hand, which is really, really, really freaking good, because Pendulum Grass of Ages protects your spell, protects your spell casters from spell effects and allows you to search a Pendulum Monster when it leaves the field including being used mater for materials for a summon aside from Xyz, which in itself is incredible. And Pendulum Grab of Space Time is also a break, break sword each turn, which is really freaking handy. And honestly, the advantages that can spawn is incredible. And Pendulum Grab of Ages can search Wisdom Eye Magician, Oath Dragon Magician, any of the other magicians I'm about to name, any one of them aside from Astrograph Sorcerer and Chronograph Sorcerer. Speaking of Astrograph... It summons itself and gives you a monster of the same as the same name of a, of a card destroyed. So if you destroy Iris Magician, you can summon Astrograph and search another Iris up top of getting a Pendulum Graph off of Iris. So you just went major plus right there. But wait, there is more. A lot more. Honestly, I'm going to go over each Magician for you. White Wind is the least potent, because, you know, if you Pendulum Summon it from the Astro deck, it's banished. Also, um, there's something else. I have Violet Poison Magician. If a, if a Pendulum Magician you control battles, or a Pendulum Monster, I think, it gains 1,200 attack points and you destroy it. But when it's destroyed, you get to destroy one face-up card in the field. So that synergizes perfectly with space-time, allowing you to pop two cards instead of just one. So I feel like that, in itself, Violet Poison Magician is one of my favorite Pendulum Monsters ever. Not just by design, but by its effect and what it does for the deck. And also its design is just, oh, it's so freaking cool. And then there's Black Fang Magician. 
Black Fame Magician, it cuts him off to ten weeks in half and costs destroying itself, and when it destroys itself, it revives a dark spellcaster from your graveyard. So you can make more plus. Get some of those monsters used for an XC summon back. Then you could possibly use them for links. If you want to use links, that is. And also a few more staple cards I can mention are Duelist Alliance, Sky Iris, Luster Pendulum, and Ignister, or in the words of DP Yu-Gi-Oh! Ignister! <laughs> oh, I can't do it like he does. Another card like King of the Feral Engine and Gigabyte, which would be excellent in this format. <laughs> because of King of the Feral Engine being able to search Gigabyte and Gigabyte being able to summon itself, honestly, <laughs> it is incredible. The plus it that can make is just crazy. Cards like Gigabyte and King of the Feral Limbs can make Link summoning so easy. And speaking of which, Links are just incredible in this deck. Because you can spend them something more from the Astro deck. And... Oh, wow. All of them floating themselves. And cards like Toon to Magician bring, bring you more pendulums from straight from your deck. That way you can overlay or use them for links themselves. So that in itself is really freaking good. And also other magicians like Oak Dragon Magician, Dragon Pit Magician, Dragon Pulse Magician, any of those previous magicians, Wisdom Eye being the biggest. And also don't forget Perform My Pal Pendulum Sorcerer because he's easily the best Perform My Pal in my opinion. Aside from Monkey Board, obviously. So, the only thing you can see bad is that now the deck lacks a grind game. And what I mean by that is that you can only put on something one from the extra deck now, which is going to hinder your plays a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Because if you have you can only put on something one from the extra deck, you'll have something with like Violet Poison, one like Toon Magician, something along those lines. But you won't be able to summon multiples from the extra deck, so if you lose your board, you pretty much lose the game, being only able to pendulum summon one as a floater. So I feel like that it is hindered in that st in that sense, but I feel like it stands a much better chance than most pendulum decks out there. Ones that strictly pendulum summon, that is. And it's quite surprising to see pendulum magicians possibly coming back on top. So I feel like that Zark magicians can be a legit contender when links come up. Because they generate advantage on their own, and they don't need Pendulum Summoning to generate pluses. I mean, they, it's a great way to generate pluses. They need the Pendulum Summon, but it's not their only way to plus. So, yes, I feel like Zart Magicians could be great. Absolutely excellent. So, I mean, I'm not going to say it's going to be true King Dinosaurs, because that's obviously not true. But, I do see it being a possible Rogue Option, if not a possible Tier 1.5 deck. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys like it, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, join the Forever Army, and together we will beat the meta. Talk to you guys next time, and hopefully I will get my channel special up. Good day, good gaming, good dueling, whatever else I need to say, I don't, I don't, I don't want to close off a video, guys.